Hello and welcome to DC Tech Talks. In this video today, we will try and learn some basic troubleshooting for decode label printer. Many a times we face a problem that we are getting blank labels or misaligned printing from the barcode printer. So let's try and see an example of a misaligned printing. So let's try and print a label and here is the output. As you can see, this is a misaligned printing. Some part of it is on the lower label and some part of it is on the upper label. And this is clearly an example of misaligned printing. So what do we do in this case? We simply try and recalibrate the printer. And to learn how to calibrate the printer, you'll have to go back and watch our YouTube video on calibration. Otherwise, there can be a problem that there is a problem with the label format or the size of the label. So this particular label is of the size 100 into 50 mm. And as you can see, we've put wrong height of the label because of which we're not getting the proper printout. So as per the label size, we'll correct it and we'll put 50 mm and we'll adjust the label format according to the actual label size which is 100mm into 50mm and then let's try and print this label now and here you go we have the perfect printout for the label and many other times we face a problem that we are not getting sufficient or enough darkness in our printout so what do we do we simply click Control P. we give a print command and then we go to uh, properties and then options and this is the darkness tab and we can scroll the darkness according to our need here from this particular tab and once we've adjusted the darkness we can simply uh, reprint the labels and you can recheck it by recalibrating your printer and now we also face a problem that in spite of giving a print command, we are not getting the printout. So one of the major reasons for this particular problem is that uh, our USB cable itself is not connected. So we have to check for the USB connection whether our cable is connected or not. And once we've done the connection, we'll be able to get the printout. But if our USB cable is connected and our, uh, we're not getting the printout, then we have to check whether our label is correctly placed under the label sensor or not. So here we open the printer and the ribbon assembly. So this particular blue part is the label sensor. So you have to see whether this particular label sensor is right on top of the label. So this problem occurs when there are small labels and this particular sensor is not on top of the labels and we can adjust this particular sensor by moving it right or left and here we have readjusted our labels and there is one sensor right in front which is the gap or a black mark sensor depending upon the kind of label you're using so now once we've readjusted our labels we'll try and print the label once again and let's try and give a print command once again to see whether we are getting the print out or not and here we go so now we've gotten the perfect print out and now as far as printing quality goes label and ribbon compatibility is of utmost importance if you're using a paper label then we have to use wax or wax resin ribbon and if you're using polyester label then we have to use resin ribbon. Otherwise, we can simply go to document properties. So once we give the control P command, we will get this particular window and we have to click on document properties and then options. And this is the darkness uh, bar and we can adjust the darkness as we told you earlier. And we can also adjust the print speed to get the optimal printing so, and if you want to 
different the Amazon or Flipkart shipping labels, then you need to use direct thermal mode. And this is the kind of different setting for a continuous label or a black mark label, different kind of labels which are available in the market. And now, many times we get this complaint that we are giving the print command, but we are getting junk characters as the printout. So here is an example of junk characters. So we'll try and give the print command. And as you can see, our printer is giving junk characters as a printout. So it simply means our printer has gone into junk mode. What we have to do, we have to switch off the label printer. Yeah, so this is the kind of junk characters it will give once it goes into junk mode and then we have to switch it on. So switch off and switch on. And as told you earlier, it is always suggested that you press the feed button once you readjust any of the printer settings. Let's try and print the label once again. And here you go. We have the perfect printout for the label once you switch off and switch on the printer. And lastly, many a times we face a problem that we've given the print command, but we are not getting any kind of printout. So what do we have to do? We have to go to the taskbar and click on the printer icon. So this is the printer icon and check whether uh, if we have some pending documents in queue. So we have to simply cancel all those pending documents. And if you give the print command now, you will be able to get the printout. So this was the basic troubleshooting guide for decode label printers. I hope you liked the video and thank you so much for watching.